Hey there, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to a general reading for you. This could be for your month of September, but really it's a timeless message, so just take it as it resonates. It is the month of September when we are recording, bringing this message forward to you. Um, and this is going to be whatever to uh, spirit wants you to hear right now. All right, so uh, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but also, this is really mainly a, t a timeless reading, yeah? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Welcome in into the channel. Um, if you're new here, hello, my name is Eric. It's wonderful to meet you. It's wonderful to be able to connect with you. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below and uh, shoot me an email. Yeah, let me know you're interested and I'll be very, very happy to get you all hooked up. Um, for those of you that are wondering, um, because if you, know, uh, if you know of me already, I practice astrology, but I do practice astrology from the true sidereal point of view. But that does, you don't have to resonate with true sidereal astrology. You don't even need to know what it is uh, to resonate with this reading. If you're just looking for a message for the sign of Virgo, for the energy of Virgo, then you've come to the right place. This very well could resonate for you especially even if you are a cross watcher okay if you are a cross watcher and this does resonate for you just place this in the situation as it fits in your life even though i'm mainly talking to virgo yeah sun moon rising and venus let's get into these messages here for you uh let's see what spirit has for you at this time what messages do you have for virgo at this time please spirit start here all right what messages do we have for virgo what's going on for virgo right now okay first card you have is awareness all right all right virgo um i feel like you're becoming very very strongly aware of something um i'm feeling some of you are struggling with certain awareness this absolutely could be in a relationship dynamic uh, romantically okay um i feel like uh, interpersonal relationships or romance is the strongest thing here. You're struggling with some form of awareness or at least being aware of something. You're wanting to be aware of something. I feel like you guys are trying to figure something out. You're trying to find some sort of information here. Now, with that said, if this does resonate for you for the month of September, we do have Mercury, your ruling planet, going retrograde, right? Uh, actually, it starts around. It starts on the 9th of September, okay, right around that full moon. Now, in terms of true sidereal astrology, Mercury will be retrograde in Virgo, your home sign or your sign, um, but that's true sidereal astrology. I don't practice tropical, so I actually don't really know what <laughs> uh, which sign um virgo is i'm sorry uh mercury is going retrograde but it doesn't matter okay either way whether it's true sidereal astrology or tropical astrology or vedic astrology or just regular sidereal astrology because there is a difference there uh mercury is going retrograde regardless okay so mercury being your ruling planet um what you may be struggling in with awareness in terms of some sort of awareness you you could really use mercury retrograde to uh help you become aware of something to help you learn something new okay um also mercury retrograde could be bringing forward some sort of awareness that you may be struggling to deal with or end up struggling to deal with for some reason there's some sort of struggle here here, uh, for you what's the struggle going on here okay all right you have the next cards you have here are adapt Ooh, vibration and bloom okay something uh with bloom here i feel like something is coming again something is coming to your awareness something is trying to bloom here or once you uh, are able to uh, achieve or receive this sense of awareness virgo something will ultimately bloom okay but here's where the struggle lies adapt and that's definitely what i feel the big struggle is for you right now you're struggling to adapt to something you're struggling to understand something you're struggling to accept something here for some of you it's you're trying to figure out what it is for others of you there's some sort of ego battle involved with this okay uh but this is all about your vibration this can help you shift your vibration something something in your something that you could be coming aware of over this time will be helping you to shift your vibration virgo but i feel like um, your vibration is going to need to shift because of it. This awareness is going to bring a forward and a potential for you to adapt to something which will ultimately shift your vibration and then allow something, maybe this relationship or uh, a new, re uh, a new um, 
awareness in terms of love and relationships or something like that, whatever this is for you, it's going to be able to bloom once you are able to become aware of this situation and adapt to it. And then that would be, and that adaption would be shifting in your vibration. It's the shift in the vibration that's going to allow this situation or circumstance to bloom. Now you have three cards here. Okay. You have exposed and revealed. There you go, Virgo. With that, you have it is what it is. And then also the Oracle's gift. All right. So this is a topic of contention for you, Virgo. I understand that um, your intuition or your higher awareness uh, maybe putting you onto something is helping you to become aware of this. Some of you, your psychic gifts, your, um, your uh, psychic perception is what is blooming, what is trying to bloom here, what you're in the process of blooming. That can be a struggle because Virgo, I feel like whatever your intuition, okay, is exposing and revealing for you, you're really going to have to work towards understanding that it is what it is or accepting the fact that it is what it is, okay? But ultimately, when you're able to uh, allow this to happen, you are going to, Ace of Wands, be able to move forward. Once you really just allow yourself to accept, just look, it is what it is, Virgo, and you are, you are an earth sign, okay? You're very practical and you're a mutable sign. So you're really all about changing, healing things, um, being better, okay? But personally, this may be a struggle for you either because your ego is getting in the way or there's some sort of ego death that you're dealing with here, something that your ego is going to have to accept. Uh, it could very well be you could have to accept something about a certain relationship that you have with somebody here, all right? But ultimately, see, you have the Ace of Wands and you have the King of Wands now. I really feel like, Virgo, whatever it is that you're struggling to accept right now or whatever that could be a struggle for you to accept, once you allow yourself to accept it and then get on, get on board with the adaptation or the change that needs to be made, I, I don't feel like it's gonna be that much of a struggle for you to move forward. Ace of Wands, King of Wands. But it's really about, because the King of Wands is here clarifying it is what it is. As, as long as you are allowing yourself to just accept what it is that your the oracle's gift is bringing you or whatever it is that your intuition is saying to you whatever it is your higher awareness your higher self god source creator the universe your ancestors your way showers your guides what not whatever what uh, whenever however it is or whenever excuse me you are able to accept this then you're going to be able to move forward with it you're also going to have the inspiration or at least be able to find the inspiration to move forward with whatever it is that's that is shifting and changing for you now for others of you this uh, ace of wands is on top of exposed and revealed once this once this is revealed for you to, for i wanted to just say taurus but i just did taurus's reading maybe you're dealing with a taurus maybe you have a taurus placement but whatever it is that is exposed and revealed for you i do feel like it's going to shift you into gear but you're just going to have to accept it and the thing about it is virgo um, maybe for some of you, what you're struggling with in terms of this adaptation, in terms of whatever your awareness is bringing forward for you, uh, the struggle may actually be making the change, following through with it, because maybe you're going to have to leave someone behind if this is a romantic situation or just a platonic situation. Um, that really could be the struggle for you here. But ultimately, the King of Wands is your... It, the, the King of Wands is the energy that you need to use to move forward, okay? And the King of Wands doesn't let anyone tell him what he can or cannot do. That, don't get caught up on the gender, okay? It's about energy, all right? It's about the confidence in yourself, the belief in yourself, the passion within you, uh, the desire to go after what it is that you want or make some sort of change. This could actually turn into a pretty aggressive situation. But it does feel like, Virgo, you're going to have to be aggressive about this. You're going to need to stand your ground, okay? You're going to need to say, you know what? It is what it is, and I'm going to do what I need to do in order to shift the situation for myself, for the better, okay? You have the Page of Cups here clarifying the Oracle's gift. This is definitely your intuition opening up here for you. Um, this could be a love, this definitely could be a love situation. Ace of Pentacles is also at the bottom of the deck right now. Um, but I definitely feel like 
Virgo, the main thing that's going on here is for many of you is that your intuition, your psychic awareness, your, your, your sixth sense, we'll say, is opening up for you. What I'm getting with the Page of Cups here is that this is a new, this is a, a new level of achievement I'm hearing or a new level of advancement in terms of your psychic sight. Some of you actually, your third eye is opening up quite sufficiently right now, okay? And I understand, Virgo, it does not necessarily feel like a gift right now, but ultimately, Yes, it absolutely is a blessing in disguise because if you can really get it, this is this is providing a new opportunity for you. If you can get this under your belt or if you can really work towards accepting whatever it is or whatever it is that's being brought to your awareness or however it is your awareness is expanding, growing, shifting and changing. If you really allow yourself to be confident, to move forward with how this is inspiring you later on down the road, you will see that this actually was a blessing in disguise. Your psychic awareness is your best friend. Your intuition is your best friend. This is a new start, a brand new, I want to say relationship. Also, this could be a new relationship with your inner child. I, I feel very strongly, Virgo, that your psychic sense, your intuition is, is what's meant to be blossoming at this time. And yes, it's going to show you some things that are, are going to be some bitter pills to swallow and you're really going to have to hold your ego in check. Okay. But ultimately it is meant to serve your highest good. All right. Let's clarify a little bit more. I want to clarify the ace of wands here on um, exposed and revealed in terms of this awareness and adaption energy. Clarify the ace of wands here, please spirit for exposed and revealed for Virgo. Okay, yeah, first card you have to clarify this is the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever it is that's being coming to your awareness, that's coming into your awareness, whatever is being exposed and revealed here, Virgo, it's very much in terms of your sense of self-worth and your nurturance, getting, receiving, uh, receiving back what it is you put into the situation. Um, especially if this is a romantic situation for you, Virgo, what I feel like you're trying to figure out here is where you stand with this person or where you stand in this relationship. And you're trying to you're trying to get answers or at least you're needing to get answers. And you could be struggling with that because the person that you're dealing with right now may not necessarily be giving you those answers, may not be willing to answer that question. Maybe they're not ready to answer that question. And that's OK. Whether they're ready to answer the question or not, the fact of the matter still stands. It is what it is, Virgo. It is what it is. And if you're not receiving whatever it is that you need, if you're not being respected, if your value and your worth is not being honored and, uh, uh, you know, it is not being honored here, then you need to do what it is you need to do to receive that. And if that means moving away from this certain situation, then so be it. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't play that game. OK, she is not the type of individual to keep going. She's very she's the, she has some emotional awareness, but she's definitely not like the Queen of Cups, who sometimes can really get caught up in situations with lack of boundaries where she's just giving and giving and giving and not receiving anything back. But saying everything's OK, that's not the Queen of Pentacles energy. If you're not coming to the table, you know, being reciprocal, then she wants nothing to do with it. And it's not even a vindictive thing. It's not a mean thing. She's not trying to be a bitch. It again, Virgo, it, it is what it is. OK, you can't keep depleting yourself. And I feel like that's what's going to be coming to your awareness. If this person or these situations are not revealing that to you, then it, but ultimately at some point, I feel like you're going to feel inspired to say, OK, well, I am going to go somewhere where I am valued. OK, I understand you're not trying to hurt me, but you're not ready to, to, to value me in the way that I need to be valued. So that's I, I mean, there you go. The, the answer is right there. It is what it is. OK, Virgo. The next card that you have to, cl to clarify this is death, transformation, and the two of wands, okay? You're, it, uh, honestly, Virgo, the strongest thing that I'm feeling here is that you're probably not going to get the answer that you want. You may not even get an answer at all. See, that's the dominant thing that I'm feeling for this, Virgo. You may not get an answer at all, even when it is you deserve an answer. 
But again, even if it's the fact that this person or these people or this situation isn't necessarily trying to hurt you, but they're just not on that level of being able to step up and speak the truth or speak what is speak about what's really going on or like communicate with you about this, whatnot, whatever. Okay, that's fine. But ultimately, you still have to do what is right for you. And I feel like, especially if you don't get an answer, that's the strongest thing that I'm feeling here. No answer is an answer, Virgo, period. Again, it doesn't matter if they're being vindictive or not, if they're being, uh, uh, if they're trying to betray you or get one over on you or energetically steal from you or maybe even physically steal from you, who, what not, what not, whatever. It doesn't matter. No answer is an answer. And it's not even about being spiteful or resentful, even though the Queen of Pentacles can represent that. But it really, ultimately, it's not even about that. Honestly, it is what it is. And I can't be ashamed. I can't hold myself back just because you're not ready. Maybe if you're ready in the future, we can assess this. But ultimately, Virgo, I feel like if you are moving on at this point because this individual or these people or this circumstance is not ready to give you what it is you really need or are meant to receive, then I doubt they're going to be ready in time in the future. What I'm feeling here is you'll just move on. And by the time they're ready for this, even if they are, you're going to be long gone. Again, it is what it is, Virgo. I can't say that enough, okay? Let's clarify that. It is what it is with the King of Wands here. Please clarify that. Clarify that for Virgo, please. Oh, okay. There it is right there. So you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so what this is telling me here, Virgo, is that this is your energy, first of all. I see the mutable signs as the, uh, the knights and the pages. So you are the mutable sign of uh, the earth, uh, but also I feel that this is your energy, Virgo, because I feel like you, or maybe this is a cross watcher, take it as it resonates, but somebody here has really been putting the time and the effort into it. Okay, and at this point, what this is saying, nine of cups and eight of cups, ultimately at this point, if I'm going to be happy or if I'm going to remain in this happy place, says Virgo or whomever this individual is, I'm going to have to walk away. I've put enough time, attention and energy and effort and consistency into this situation to be able to receive more. But you're not receiving that more. So. Quite frankly, it is what it is, Virgo, and you should not be ashamed or afraid to go after what it is that you want at this point because you deserve to receive it. You deserve to have it. This Queen of Pentacles energy is influencing you to say, I am worthy of this. I am worthy of receiving what it is that I want. And then with this death energy here associated with that, this I, I feel like this is a bigger this is a bigger thing than just this one relationship or this one connection. Whatever this circumstance is for you, it's much bigger than just this one situation. This one situation may be a culmination of a bunch of situations in which you are feeling left de unvalued or devalued or your value is not being honored. Your true worth and your true value is not being honored. So ultimately, I feel like this is a situation that is in a, a, a long string of situations that have been getting you to hold and ex to accept, excuse me, and hold your worth and not accept anything less than you're worthy of. I feel like this, you're getting to the situation, uh, Virgo, where it, it, it's en enough is enough. This is like the final straw. It is what it is. This is the final straw. And ultimately, I'm feeling like we've been, the, the, the message here with it is what it is and the King of Wands, you've been working towards this over a long period of time. And whomever it is you're dealing with, they're stuck in a comfort zone energy. But you do not need to sit around and wait for them to decide that they want to come out of this comfort zone energy. And that's what I feel like is about to happen here, Virgo. This might be a situation in which this person is kind of looking at you saying, what's the big problem? You're happy, aren't you? Well, no, actually, I'm really not happy because my worth is not being honored here. My value is not being honored here. And this person or these, this situation or these people may be gaslighting you into saying, oh, enough is enough. You don't need any more of this. You should just be happy with what it is you have. Uh-uh. Nope. Absolutely not. Why? Because we're not going to settle here, Virgo. We're not. Because why? Because you are deserving of more. You are deserving of having your value honored. Okay. Uh, let's clarify this page of cups here. This page of cups energy on the, um, the Oracle's gift and blossom here. 
clarify the page of cups please this new uh, see okay what also could be the, the, the three of wands just showed itself it didn't officially come out but also what this could be leading you towards virgo this oracle's gift the, the oracle or your intuition or your psychic awareness or whatnot whatever could be providing you with the gift of new love if you're being guided or if whatever happens or transpires in this situation leads you to say, that's it, I'm moving forward. You don't want to come with me? That's fine, but I'm going to continue forward. That could absolutely be bringing you a new loving relationship. And if this is a type of cycle or situation in which you are being inspired, Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Death, you're being inspired to go after King of Wands, what will truly bring value to you, your oracle's gift is the fact that you are being led towards that. Page of Cups is definitely a, a new um, relationship with your intuition, a stronger relationship with your intuition, but also the Page of Cups could represent new love. But you've got to walk away from the situation that is blocking that new love by not honoring you. Okay, clarify the Page of Cups here, please, for Virgo. You have the Hierophant. Commitment. Real, true commitment. Could be a Taurus energy. But also what I get with the Hierophant is this is a pretty tough lesson. Again, I feel there's a struggle here for you. There's a struggle to let this go. There's a struggle to move forward in this way. But ultimately, this is going to pay out. This is going to pay off for you in the long run, Virgo, because you are going to hold the vibration you are going to be getting into alignment with and ultimately holding the vibration that will bring you the love and commitment that you actually truly want. This could be a situation in which you are looking for marriage and the person that you're with is like dragging their feet on it or they don't want to they don't want to address that issue. So how long are you going to wait? How long are you going to wait for this person to be ready? and if effectively hold yourself back. See, the Four of Cups wanted to come out there. If this person is not ready, if this person doesn't want to cross that bridge and that's exactly what it is that you want, then why aren't you allowed to go after that? Why aren't you allowed to, to go forward towards what it is you want to receive? The Six of Cups is, is here now. And the Seven of Swords. I do feel like if this is a romantic relationship, for some of you here, you have been dealing with this person for a long time. There is history here. I'm hearing false pretenses. Oof, Virgo, I don't like that for you. I really don't like that for you. Someone is being deceptive. I feel like someone is really stringing you along trying to make you feel like or trying to say everything's cool we're going in the right direction but then they don't want to actually make those moves they don't want to actually give you that answer and again i'm not trying to pass judgment on this person or these people whatever this is for you but ultimately virgo it is what it is if you're not ready to give me what it is that i'm looking for in terms of this connection in terms of love and relationships then how long do i have to sit here and wait for you to be ready how long do i have to sit here and wait for you to finally want to come out of your comfort zone Okay, I want to get you a closing message, Virgo. We're going to get that from the Lover's Oracle. Since this does feel like a strongly dominant love situation, I want to get it from here. So, closing message for Virgo, please. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. But see, I feel like this is someone new. I don't feel like... Well, maybe maybe this is about communication. Maybe you really do need to communicate about this. But ultimately, if you're not if you do communicate with it and you're just not getting the answers, because I do feel like you're trying to have a greater awareness of where things are going here. So I do feel like, yeah, OK, this this is leading you towards a new relationship. You do have the next card here is romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Love conquers and transforms all things Virgo but you also have to hold love for yourself okay let's get one more card this is leading you towards something new someone who can honor your worth someone who can honor a level of commitment or be in a stronger level of commitment with you but you have to let go of whatever is blocking you 
is keeping this energy from blossoming here, okay? You have to let go and allow the space to open up for that individual that is ready to do this with you, all right? Let's get one last card. One last card for Virgo, please. Two of them, all right. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. It is what it is. And finally, it is, is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. King of Wands. All right? Excellent. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Sending you so much love. If this resonated with you and you would like to get a personal reading with me, check the information in the description box below. But as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. But with that said, Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>